This is episode 74 of the Life in Norway show. Today is going to be a little bit different because I don't have a guest, it's just me, as I look forward to all things Norway in 2024. My name is David Michael and I'm the host of this podcast and the editor of the Life in Norway website and YouTube channel. First things first, my thanks to all of you for listening, reading and watching all of Life in Norway's content in 2023. Your feedback continues to shape the kind of content me and my small team create. In today's show, I'll talk a little bit about what you can expect for those of you planning a trip to Norway in 2024, plus information on what's changing for those of us who live here. Finally, I'll talk a little bit about what you can expect from us here at Life in Norway over the coming year. But first things first, if you're not already a member of Life in Norway, please head on over to lifeinnorway.net and hit the newsletter button. You'll join more than 17,000 people who receive a popular Norway weekly newsletter every Tuesday morning. Travel in 2024. In 2024, Norway's coastal culture and Sami traditions come under the spotlight like never before as the city of Buda becomes a European capital of culture. Final plans are now in place for what is set to be the largest cultural project ever held in northern Norway. Queen Sonja plans to attend the opening ceremony, highlighting the importance of this festival on a national level. Never before has a city so far north held the European Capital of Culture title. As such, expect a packed programme of cultural events that reflects life not just in Buda, but across Norland County as a whole. That means Norwegian coastal culture and Sami traditions will be at the forefront of the programme. Events get underway in February when, despite the expected low temperature, an audience of up to 15,000 people are expected at the city's harbour to watch the opening ceremony, which will also be broadcast live on NRK. After the disruption caused by the pandemic and construction delays to new vessels, the Norwegian coastal ferry route is now back to daily service. Two companies now share the route, with seven Hutteren ships and four Havala ships sharing the timetable. Both companies continue to offer the full 11-night round trip as a cruise-like experience to mainly international tourists. I did the full round trip back in 2019 with Hutteren, and I'll be taking the full round trip once again very soon, this time with Havala. I look forward to sharing that experience with you all, of course. Finally, 2024 is set to be a fantastic year for Northern Lights sightings. In the last months of 2023, we got more frequent and more intense aurora displays in the northern skies as we approach the expected solar maximum. If you're interested in Buda's year as capital of culture, the Norwegian coastal ferry route, or a Northern Lights hunt in Norway, I'll include links to all of these things in the show notes page. Living in Norway At this busy time of year, it's sometimes easy to miss things that are changing here in Norway, so here's a couple things to watch out for that you may have missed. The new customs rules. From the 1st of January 2024, the customs exemption on goods priced under 350 kroner is removed. This means that VAT, MVA, will be charged, in theory at least, on all imported products that are eligible for VAT. Items that are exempt, such as books, will still be exempt. A new register of international online stores, known as VOEC, plus a reduction in processing fees should remove much of the previous uncertainty about buying products from abroad, though. Of course, we'll see how this pans out in reality in the weeks and months to come. I've written an entire article about this, so if you're interested in the detail, the link will be in the show notes. Following the changes to Norway's counties in 2020, several changes will be introduced from January reverting to how things were before the change. The county Troms of Finnmark will be split back into the two separate counties, Troms and Finnmark. Meanwhile, the controversial Viken county will also be split into its three former counties, Buskeru, Arkesus and Ørstfold. Not all county changes are being reversed, though. Trøndelag will stay as one county, as will Vestland and Agder. 
Police services are also being restructured, with 10 new police stations set to open in 2024. Although the decision will boost police presence in rural areas, the police itself are among those opposed to the move. They say that more officers and resources will be required to maintain the new locations. Life in Norway in 2024 Over the coming year, I'll be spending a lot of time producing more podcast episodes and making more videos. I do love writing, but there's so much more storytelling I can do with audio and video. I'm excited to bring you many more of these stories in the months to come. As for podcasts, I'll be interviewing more people and doing more solo shows like this one. If you do know of anyone I should interview or you'd like to be interviewed yourself, please do get in touch. I'm always on the lookout for people with a story to tell. As for videos, I'll continue to produce destination-based videos, and I'm planning to record a whole series of videos while I'm on the coastal voyage later this year. If you're interested in finding out more about anything I've spoken about today, please check out the show notes page for links. You can head on over to lifeinnorway.net slash podcast and look for episode 75. And once again, if you're not already a member at Life in Norway, hit the newsletter button on lifeinnorway.net. You'll join more than 17,000 people who receive Norway weekly every Tuesday morning. Thanks for listening, and a happy new year to you all. 